This walkthrough video is a part of the Daily GW Drupal series designed to help you curate, manage, and maintain your GW Drupal site on a day-to-day -day basis. More information about GW Drupal can be found on the online strategy website where additional learning resources and information on web best practices are provided. Today we'll walk through the steps of creating a list of quick links using the content set content type in GW Drupal. Content sets are a way for you to group detailed and specialized content together in a specific manner. They do not create web pages themselves, but instead create elements that can be added to web pages to provide relevant information or to increase usability. To create a quick links list, access the content set content type in one of the following manners. From the black Drupal admin bar, select content, add content, and then select Content Set from the provided list of options. Additionally, you can hover over the arrow in the upper right corner, select Add Content, and again, select Content Set from the provided list of options. The final method is to hover over My Workbench, Create Content, and then select Content Set from the list of flyout options. Wherever you see a red asterisk in GW Drupal, that is indicating that completion of a field is required. Most content types in GW Drupal have a required subtype that serves to further define that piece of content. In the content set content type, the subtypes define how this element will display. To create quick links, we will use the subtype list. The title field, which is also required, is the name Drupal will search for when you add quick links to the left or right sidebars of detail pages. Be sure to give the list a title that is easily identifiable, especially if you're creating other pages or items with similar content and context. The on-site content field uses a GW Drupal function known as the node reference. Every piece of content created in Drupal is called a node and is assigned a node ID. Whenever you see a field in the GW Drupal admin with this little circle, you can start typing in the name of a piece of content and Drupal will search its database for a matching record. In this case, the on-site content field will search the GW Drupal database for any piece of content using the article, general content, hero, person, promotion, or social content type. It will then provide a list of matching records from which you can select the appropriate one. This is also an excellent example of why you should ensure that the titles you create for your content are descriptive enough that you won't be confused later on when you search through your database. To add additional items, simply click the Add Another Item button and use the Drupal node reference to locate additional items in your database. The offsite link field is used to send your users to third party websites or to PDF documents. The title field is what will display in your quick links list. For the URL field, navigate to the website that you would like to send your users to, copy the web address, and paste it into the URL field. Be sure to select the open URL in a new window button so that users are not taken off of your website. Rather, a new browser window or tab will open up with the new website or document. Click the Add Another Item button to add another item. For PDF documents, you'll need to have already uploaded the document to your Drupal database. For that, go to your content list then Media, and Locate Your Document. Click on the name of the document until you are taken to the web page where you can copy the URL for the PDF document. Back on your content set, paste the URL for your PDF document. And again, select the Open URL in a new window checkbox to ensure that a new browser window or tab is opened up when they click on the link. 
On-site downloads are documents that you would like your users to download to their computer hard drive. You can search for documents that you've already uploaded to Drupal by using File Browser, or you can search for documents on your hard drive by selecting Upload and Choose File. It's important to note that you're not able to customize the name of the link in your Quick Links list. Rather, Drupal will display the exact title of your document, so it's important that it's user-friendly and public-facing. Also, Drupal will display the icon associated with the file type you've uploaded, in this case showing the little a for an Adobe PDF. You only need to provide site placement for your Quick Link list if you would like your Quick Link list to show up on your home page. In that instance, give the list a site placement of home. Otherwise, you can leave site placement blank. Depending on your permission level, you may not see all of the following options. URL path setting, scheduling options, meta tags, and authoring information can all be left as is. Under publishing options, and again, depending on your permission level, your moderation state options are draft, needs review, and published. Site administrators and content supervisors can select publish if they are ready for the quick links to be published to the live site. Content contributors will only be able to select draft or needs review at which point a site administrator or a content supervisor will need to come review the content and change the moderation state to published. Click the Save button, and now you can see a rough draft of what your quick links will look like. Note that the order of the quick links will always start with on-site content, off-site links, and on-site downloads. Within the quick links itself, you are able to modify the order that you would like the links to display. However, the individual blocks will always display in the order of on-site content, off-site link, and on-site download. I'm going to change my moderation state to publish to save the changes I've just made and click save. As indicated before, by giving my quick links a site placement of home, they are now displaying on my home page. However, if I would like my quick links to display on a detail interior page, I need to navigate to the page where I would like the quick links to be, select New Draft, scroll down to the right or left sidebar content field, and use the Drupal node reference to locate my quick links. I will then need to publish and save my changes. And that is how you add quick links to a detail page in GW Drupal. For more GW Drupal videos and other resources, visit the online strategy website.